New Kids in the Neighborhood is a 1967 illustration that Norman Rockwell created for Look magazine. And it actually accompanied an article that focused on the integration of America's suburbs in the late 1960s. This was a subject on the minds of many Americans. And Rockwell, I think in his role as visual commentator, was intent on helping people to navigate that. It's a really wonderful piece that I think is meant to show just how many things people have in common as opposed to focusing on solely their differences. So as you can see in the painting, there are five children, two children part of the family that are moving in. The other three children are children that might live in the neighborhood. And at first look, you may say, what do they have in common? Uh, we can certainly see some differences. But we see that they have baseball in common for the boys, the pink ribbons for the girls. They each own pets. One of the pair of kids have a white cat, and the three kids have a black dog. Rockwell asking us to see what we're looking at and not what we think we're seeing. In the painting, Rockwell's created some very subtle body language that uh, give us the sense that the children are both interested in each other, curious, and maybe a little reticent at the same time. The uh, interesting thing is, of course, that they are out there ready to play on the street, and their adult counterparts are not really seen, uh, except for one. If you look at the upper left-hand corner of the picture, you'll notice that there is a window curtain parted and there is an adult looking out at the action on the street. You'll also notice there's a man unloading the truck. Neither of these adults really are facing this new situation that's facing everyone in the late 1960s. How will integration work? How will it work in my neighborhood? Uh, we also notice that Rockwell has given us an opportunity to see all these different components of the painting by using the color yellow in a triangle to move our eye around the picture. We we'll start with the furniture at the bottom corner near the, the two children, move to the yellow shirt with the three children, then to the yellow automobile in the back of the painting. Each of these little bits of yellow are showing us these important parts of the painting that Rockwell doesn't want us to miss. The truck is an interesting element as well. It actually is both a divider and a connector, so you'll notice that it serves as a backdrop for the white family, and uh, the ramp actually gives you a sense that they are connected as well with the African-American family. At this time, Rockwell, like many illustrators, was experimenting with palette and format. And uh, in the 1960s, art was changing, and Rockwell was experimenting with a higher key palette, brighter colors, the flattening of form, so not showing the full three-dimensional effect of everything. And yet, his compositions really, as always, create a very strong impact. I think one of the things that Rockwell always allows us to do is to imagine what happens next in his paintings. Uh, he was really a supreme visual storyteller, and he always said, to me, the story is the first thing and the last thing. So. I think uh, it's not difficult for us to maybe consider in our own minds what is going through the minds of his characters and also how the story might evolve as these children become neighbors. <laughs>